My eyes did not deceive me. This really is Cars on the Road Ramon. Finally! It has taken so long to get this guy, but you know what? It was well worth the wait. And what's even more astonishing about this car is that I'm the very first person on all of YouTube to review him. So, I mean, this is the win-win situation. Anyways, though, welcome on back to the Cars Garage, everyone. Of course, today I have the brand new 2024 two-pack, which obviously includes Cars on the Road Ramon and his lovely wife, Flo. Now, when you look at this, you're like, hmm, is this just another boring old Ramon and Flo two-pack like we've seen time and time again, year in and year out? Well, no, because it's obviously got a brand new car, but Mattel does not let you know that by the packaging. I mean, first of all, 2024, the Cars on the Road packaging is just gonzo to begin with, so it's just a standard Cars, Radiator Springs, Red Riders background. But then, to boot all that, they don't even like label him as anything different. They just call him Ramon, and that's just not cool, Mattel. I mean, I don't know why they have to do stuff like that. They really could have just called him Cars on the Road Ramon, or they could have released him in 2023. You know, that would have been even better than we could have got him last year on the corresponding packaging. <laughs> that would have been a little bit nicer, but oh well. He still looks great with Flo on this packaging style, but this is the third year in a row we've gotten a Radiator Springs background kind of, you know, Ramon and Flo two-pack. This is the one from last year, 2023. Had Saludos Amigos Ramon and Flo, and the year before, 2022, they just did Purple Ramon and Flo, and Flo never changes. She had the same artwork every single time, <laughs> and Ramon, he always changes, but luckily this one is actually brand new, so that's pretty darn cool. I gotta zoom in on this artwork for a second because I just think it's so cool. I love how they gave him a new artwork. I mean, I expected them to. Um, it's not like an extended universe line or anything. So, yeah, I would have hoped that they would have. And they did. And it looks great. Good old Ramon posing. It actually just looks like the intro Ramon from Cars 3. That artwork. But they just, like, maybe photoshopped it to have a different paint job. They could have done that. But the expression might be a little different. Hard to tell. Anyways, here is Flo looking so nice. That's her Cars 3 paint job, by the way. Or, not paint job, but artwork. She never changes her paint job. Obviously, she's Flo. Always looks just as dashing as she ever can. Anyways, on the back, as seen in Cars on the Road, and we got some nice other two-packs back here, like K Pillar de Rev and May Pillar de Rev, K of Lightning McQueen and the Pit Stop of Saurus, and Jeremy and Chiefdis. All okay two packs. I mean, this one is just peg warming too much. This is a great one. Obviously, they're both just repackaged from 2023. And this one is new for the year, but obviously it just includes two peg warmers. So really nothing to talk too much about. But yeah, Mattel and Power and the Next Generation through play. Can't believe they're still rocking that little symbol down there. I realized they even put it on all their products. It's not just car stuff. They also even put it on like uh, Uno cards. They just bought a new deck from the Dollar Rama recently. And I realized that and I'm like, what in the heck? They actually put it on all their stuff. I figured it was just for the cards, but nope. Anyway, so yeah, this came out of 2024 two backs case V. So yeah, we're getting close to restarting the whole lettering system, the whole alphabet. It's going to be A again soon, within a month or two probably. But yeah, this one came out of V. So that's pretty cool. If you want to get it, try to pick it up now. I found it in at Walmart in Canada here. So that's really saying something. If you're in the States, you should have no problem finding this two pack. But what are we talking about? Let's just open it up. And see how these guys look out of the package. Oh my goodness, guys. This Ramon paint job is just phenomenal. I can't believe how much I like it. Because honestly, when I first saw it in Cars on the Road, I really didn't care for it all that much. I thought, you know, it's just another Ramon. Seen a lot of them in the past. <laughs> and we've seen a lot of orangish, kind of reddish ones, too. So I really wasn't all that excited about it. I thought, you know, the die cast will come when it comes, and I'm sure it'll be okay. But no, it's way more than okay. It is actually one of my favorite Ramon paint jobs now, to be honest. Like, it's right up there with Radiator Springs Ramon, who I always thought was one of my favorites. And then Intro Ramon came in from Cars 3. I thought he was one of my favorites. And Saludos Amigos Ramon is really awesome too. 
but now this guy, I don't know, he kind of just blows them all out of the water. I mean, he's pretty darn cool. Anyways, so, yeah, let's begin this review. Obviously, we have Flo to talk about, too, but we'll get to her later. Let's start off with the main man, Ramon, because I know that's what you all came for. So here he is in Cars on the Road. Doesn't appear too much, but we do get to see him in the very first episode, Dino Bark. Kind of contradicting, because he doesn't actually go to the Dino Bark. But obviously, we just get to see him in Radiator Springs with the other townies. He does have, I think, just one line of dialogue. He says, McQueen, it's paint time. And then he goes up on his hydraulics and presumably heads on into the paint shop, the Ramon's House of Body Art. And that is when he paints McQueen all up for his road trip with Mater across the country. But it's off camera. So we never actually get to see Ramon painting McQueen. It's not like in Cars 1, 2, or 3 where we actually get to see like a montage sort of scene where he paints McQueen. So that's unfortunate. But oh well, at least we get to see Ramon, and same with all the townies, at least we get to see them. We don't get to see them for very long, but at least we do get to see them after all. Anyways, let's see what his expression is looking like. I like it. It's nice, simple. They did change it at least, so that's cool. I really didn't expect them to change it because, I don't know, they really didn't have to. This is a new paint job after all. It doesn't really require a new expression, but I like when they do stuff like that because it just makes the car feel new you know it makes him feel less like the other ramones which there's a lot of ramones so the expressions he has kind of get tiring after a while so i like it this one's kind of on the simple side it looks like it's just a flat kind of eyelid and then it goes up on this right eyelid here our left his right but yeah it's cool i'll show you it next to the purple ramon here the thailand one which they did in 2018 i remember i absolutely love this expression when this new variant of Ramon first came out, I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world because previously, Ramon never really had very good expressions. They're always just, you know, so flat, like the windshield, the eyelids were so flat. And it just made him look kind of like a robot. The Cars 2 ones were pretty good, but I don't know, they were kind of similar too. They were just different, but they were all kind of like the same, which is unfortunate. But luckily, this one is new. His mouth isn't anything too crazy. They just did the little white smile to look like teeth, which is cool. Obviously, he is a, what is he, a Cadillac, uh, well, it says on the bottom, I'm forgetting. Oh, it's a Chevrolet Impala, that's what he is. 1967, I'm pretty darn sure, at least, yeah, he's a 1967 Chevrolet Impala. I almost forgot for a second, that's not too good, but Ramon, he's such a classic character, so it's cool that he's actually based off of a real-life car. I think that's pretty cool, especially a classic car, too, I love classic cars. Um, but anyways, you can tell he's uh, an Impala from the front end. It's funny, he's a Chevrolet, but he doesn't have that, like, that point, you know, that pointiness that they all seem to have in the front, or not really. It's very, like, um, I don't know, it's not very prominent, as you can tell, but he's a very squared off looking car, except for in the back, where his tail fins go up. He doesn't have huge tail fins, but they are very nice nonetheless. Definitely not as big as flows, though. Let's talk about the actual paint job, you know, the actual new part about him. <laughs> I love it. I think it's really cool how it's all orange, because even though I know I said we've gotten a lot of orangey kind of reddish paint jobs. Yeah, we have gotten a lot of red paint jobs for Ramon, but I guess we technically never really had an orange paint job before. Unless you count like the Radiator Springs Ramon. I only have the Mini Racer. I actually just unboxed him a few days ago. But I mean, he was really the only other orangey kind of Ramon we ever had before. But he's like full on purple in the back. So it's not really like he's a full on orange Ramon anyway. So this one is. And I think that's pretty cool. I guess that would make him the first. Actually, no. You know what? I'm forgetting. They did road trip Ramon. But that didn't appear in anything. So that doesn't really count. You know what I mean? Anyways, though. Yeah. Just classic Ramon design that he has. Like all the little tiny elements in this paint job. They're just so well thought out. And that's just how Ramon does it. You know? He's got like a little bit of a pointy red triangle thingy here like i don't even know what some of this stuff is supposed to be i don't think it's really supposed to be anything it's almost like abstract art you know what i mean it's just kind of like there but it's so beautiful too it's like you don't really know what it is but it's just so beautiful so it doesn't even matter and i love it purple little like flare thingies here on the side don't really know what they are but i'm glad he has some purple in them because it does kind of like pay homage to the radiator springs remote from cars too and i like that a lot and he does appear in Radiator Springs, too. So wouldn't that have been funny if they would have called him Radiator Springs Ramon? I could have seen them doing that. But they didn't call him anything, so that's actually even worse, I would say. 
And then he's got these three little like rectangles up here. Actually, they're pretty big. And they're just cool and like orange and yellow. I don't really know what they're supposed to be. Once again, I don't think anything. They're just nice. I like them a lot. The side got some nice lines and cool like shapes. Very, very nice. Yellow, purple. Is that purple or is that black? No, I think it's purple. It's just dark and thin. So it's hard to tell, but I love how the orange and the yellow kind of like collide in these squares and the rectangles all around his body. It's like a cool gradient. Very, very nice. And then his tires, I think his rims are actually different. Got the classic low and slow text on the black wheel part of them, but then the actual rim, like that's all gray. And I don't believe Ramon has ever had gray rims before. No, they're usually gold with the gray trim. So yeah, they are different. Look at that. This is the purple Ramon. And then they might be similar to, no, they're not similar to this one. So Little's Amigos Ramon doesn't even have low and slow, uh, like on these wheels at all for some reason. And then the actual rims are gold once again. So I don't think, no, this one's different. This is white wall, so that's completely different. But it is uh, silver on intro Ramon. But like this is gray. So I don't know if they're supposed to be silver, these rims. And they just made them gray because they do do that sometimes. But I would say, I go out on a limb and say that these are brand new rims, or just tires in general, that we've never seen on Ramon before, so that's pretty cool. They do get covered up a little bit, because that's just how Ramon is. That's how Chevrolet and Pala are, or they were back in the day. They're not anymore. They're not as cool. I don't think they make them anymore, do they? Pretty sure they discontinued them, I believe. But um, yeah, very, very cool. I think the back might be my favorite. Actually, I like the front the best. I think that's cool. All the colors mixing together. But the back is kind of just like that. Just kind of like flipped around. Same purple thingies here. It looks like little L's. <laughs> a backwards L and a regular L. <laughs> kind of. Big old thick L's. I don't know. It's cool. You know, it's hard, to, it's hard to talk about a Ramon design because it's like, what is all this? I don't know. It's just abstract art. That's what art is. Sometimes you don't know what it is. <laughs> and I am quite the artist. I'm kind of like Ramon myself. I do dabble in the arts i like to draw i always went to uh, i always took art class in high school and i just i've always liked it i've always had quite the passion for art i haven't really drawn anything too crazy in the last few years uh since i've been out of high school but you know i don't know maybe i should get back into it again because i need to express my inner ramon you know what i mean we all have an inner ramon to us i think you know it's just your creative side that's what it is but yeah, the sides really actually, there's a lot of like blank space here. I didn't really realize until I flipped it around to see this. But there's not a ton of decals on the side, but that's okay. I like just the flat color too, you know. But it is cool when he's got all this cool like extra stuff going on. I like it. And then in the back, in the window, you can see, you can barely see. It's barely visible because the windows are so opaque. I can see it. Maybe it's not coming through on camera too good, but you can kind of see a little plastic thing in there. It's supposed to say Radiator Springs. In like a really cool text, it's kind of like the same font Ramon uses for his logo for his shop in Radiator Springs. But the only reason I know that is because I don't think I have one on hand. Of course, I didn't bring one in. Uh, one of my cars, two Ramones, but you can tell on those. You can kind of tell on this one too, this yellow hydraulic. Actually, no, you can't. What am I saying? It looks like it to me, but when I put it on camera, I'm looking through the, through the phone camera. And honestly, I can't really see it. So I don't know if you guys can see it. You probably can't. But anyways, it's in there. And you can really tell on some of the older cars to Ramones that it says Radiator Springs. Don't know how he got in there, but I won't ask. <laughs> Anyways, the back, very, very classic looking Impala taillight design with the little tail fins there. And the classic low and slow carburetor county license plate that Ramon always has. So very, very cool. On the bottom, like we already saw, it says Chevrolet. And then made in Thailand. And where is the date stamp? I'm not seeing one. Actually... That's weird. Oh, there it is on the back. S47A, I think. Yeah, S47A. It's the 47th week of 2023. So almost like the end of the year. So would that be like November, I think? Or like that's not long ago at all. October, maybe? That would be cool. Because he kind of almost looks like a Halloween type of Ramon. So that's kind of cool. If he was actually made around Halloween time. Probably was, to be honest. Anyways, though, so, yeah, let's, oh, yeah, I was going to show you flow, but no, I'll compare the other Ramones first to a good old Ramon comparison, you know, like we always do whenever I review a new Ramon. 
This is cool, though. You know, he looks good next to Purple Ramon. Gotta say, he looks way better than him. This is a classic Ramon paint job, you know, but I gotta say, I like this one more. I love all the colors. That's cool. Really cool from the top view like that. Like, the side is nice. Like I said, it's kind of bare bones, but I still like it. But when you look at him from the top, that's where it's at. Like, that is cool. I'd love to see, like, this hood, this Ramon hood actually in Ramon shop in Cars Land, you know, in DCA, Disney California Adventure. I think that'd be pretty cool. But obviously, they go for the movie accurate looks so they wouldn't mess up with the, the hoods. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't change them out, swap them out just because a new one. And Cars on the Road is from two years ago now, so they're definitely not going to do that. But that would be cool. Anyways, here is another one I thought was kind of similar. The yellow Ramon or gold Ramon, whatever you prefer to call him. He's kind of gold, but he's supposed to be yellow, so I guess you'd call him Yellow Ramon from Cars 1. But, yeah, I don't know. Just kind of on the basic side. Not a ton of, like, abstractness going on. Just a couple of decals in the cool color. And then, this is actually the color he was supposed to be. This yellow hydraulic one. This is from Thailand. He really was never supposed to be gold. But I just kind of think since he's, you know, he's yellow, orange, yellow, red. They all kind of go together. They're all warm colors. I thought I'd bring him and the other... Yellow Ramon out to compare, and then this one's also kind of similar. Hydraulic Ramon, who's not hydraulic. I like to call him Red Ribbon Ramon from Cars 1. Seriously, though, why is he called Hydraulic Ramon? Never understood that. <laughs> Never made much sense to me. He's not in his hydraulic mode, but whatever. And then, this one's also kind of similar. I would say it's a more similar looking red. You know, it looks more orangey. This is Lightning Ramon from Cars 1. Actually, it's a pretty cool Ramon that I think is kind of underrated. I know it doesn't have a ton going on, but it's just simple and good. Sometimes simple cars are the best. But yeah, this Ramon, this new Cars on the Road Ramon, is anything but simple. He is very much so kind of in his own realm. And I guess I'll show some of the more recent Ramones, like this intro one from Cars 3. Although, not really the same color scheme or anything. But I guess, you know, they're both newer Ramones, so I guess that's why I'm showing them. There's a ton of Ramones. We'd be here all day if I was to compare them all. But here is Saludos Amigos Ramon, which is a pretty recent one. They first did him in 2021. Anyway, so let's look at Miss Flo very quickly. I did review her not really too long ago when I reviewed the Saludos Amigos Ramon and Flo two back. But yeah, here she is. I'll show you where she appears at in Cars on the Road. Honestly, she probably is the most talkative townie in Cars on the Road, come to think of it, because she goes off on a little spiel to Mater and McQueen Telling them about how they should be going to New Orleans on their road trip. Checking out the sweet jazz that plays. And they never do, obviously. Maybe on the way home they will. Who knows? Uh, and then she basically is the one that suggests to McQueen that Ramon, her hubby, should paint him up for the occasion. You know, give him the road trip paint job that he has right here. So I think that's pretty cool. Thank you to Flo for basically making the road trip McQueen paint job possible. <laughs> but this Flo diecast really has something to talk about not even a new variant i don't believe i have this thailand one right here which is i think yes yeah, a 2013 one it might actually be 2018 yeah it is a 2018 one yeah what am i saying i didn't open the two back in 2023 i got saludos amigos ramon in 2021 so this is the 2018 flow and honestly putting them next to each other maybe it's not coming up on camera but this one does seem to be a little darker and i kind of like the color better to be honest now, both of them have plastic on their headpieces here, so I never liked that. This one feels looser, to be honest. It is like five years older than this one, or six years old now. Wow. <laughs> um, but this one is like very tight, so that's good. I guess that's an improvement, but the expression and everything like that kind of looks the same. The side panel actually looks worse now, which I thought it was bad before, and now it looks even worse, like even more faded. Ah, oh, man, I don't like that at all. And the bumper is still plastic, and the silver still doesn't match up to the rest of the silver trim that Flo has, so that sucks. But yeah, the only changes I can really see is the side panel looks worse, but the headpiece isn't as loose, and it might be a bit darker. Her whole paint job might be a bit darker. Also, the texture probably isn't any different. This one probably just greasy from my hands touching it for the past six years off and on. This one just came out freshly out of the package so it does feel a bit newer maybe that's all it is but i gotta say she does feel almost like rougher to the touch for some reason anyways though yeah let's zoom it on in and see how she looks her expression 
pretty mellow looking, but I gotta say it is an improvement over the old Chinese flow, which I never liked those eyes. Like her eyelashes, for some reason, are way too high, and you can actually see, like, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You can see the teal eyelids, like, underneath the eye lashes. I don't get it. I don't know why they ever did that. Also, there's just a ton of differences. The windows aren't green. They used to be green for some reason, and the base is now gray, whereas it used to be teal for some reason, which I didn't mind. Low was kind of strange. And then this is just, like, that's the nicest side panel. I've ever seen on any flow. Like, look at that. It's a lemony yellow. Looks so nice. Whereas this one, it just looks washed out. And honestly, like I just said a few minutes ago, like even the older Thailand flow looked better than this. So that's not a good thing. It's like they've kind of been downgrading their quality ever since they started making cars in 2018. Anyway, so there's her mouth there, nice and smiley. Two little headlights, nice silver trim everywhere. I do like the silver trim. It's nice. It's not reflective like it should be, but it is nice. It's a nice paint. But unfortunately, it just doesn't match up to the reflective silver. Not really paint, just like a foil, I guess, on the bumper because it's plastic and it just doesn't match. And the teal color like that doesn't match either. So kind of sucks, but oh well. Showgirl, it says on our license plate, spelled S-H-O dash or I guess just space G-R-L. I think it's hard to read. Really, really hard to read. Like, look. Let me show you the Thailand or the Chinese one again for comparison's sake. Look how much clearer that is. It's way better. It also says Carburetor County on top, I think. I, I'm not saying that by reading it. I'm saying it by memory. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Anyway, it's got this big old, like, silver, or what am I saying? Not silver. Big old circle on her trunk, which I think is where, like, the spare tire would be. But I'm not really sure. She does have nice tires, though. I'll give Flo that with the white walls and the silver rims very very cool the giant fins very nice like flow is a great car i just think thailand does her kind of dirty you know what i mean they don't do a great job with their nice gray base though i kind of always like the teal base like i was talking about but honestly it makes more sense for it to be gray I'm not sure why there's a big bulge kind of circle thing here but whatever still nonetheless flow is a great car but that's not even what you came here for i know and you know that you guys came here for cars on the road ramon who is just amazing looking. He is so cool. He blows all of the other Ramones that they have made in recent years out of the water. He just looks phenomenal. I love him so much. Honestly, might be my favorite car of 2024. And that is really saying something because obviously the year has just begun. We're only in like midway through March now. So that's really saying something. But that might change as we move along through the year. Who knows? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. First one on YouTube, I'm pretty sure at least. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. With that, I'll see you guys next time right here on the Cars Garage. Yeah.